Hey guys, so one question I get from a lot of new people is uh, when we come to eToro and we copy these guys, normally it's not money we can really afford that easily, all right? It's extra money. We've tried to sort of scrape some money together to copy someone on eToro and invest a bit of cash. We've got lots of things we need money for in the real world. So we come along, we copy someone, and then we realize that that person we're copying is only using a small amount of the money that we've copied them with in actual trades. And sometimes people ask about this sort of politely, like the people in my uh, comment section, really polite, nice people. Why is this happening? Why aren't they using all of my money in active trades? And can I take that money um, that they're not using and use it to copy someone else, right? Because I want my money to work for me. So, you know, if they're not using it, can I just take it and put it somewhere else? Sometimes people ask nicely. Sometimes I've seen in the comments, people aren't quite so nice. Hey man, glad to be on board. Glad to be on the train. Let's go, man. Let's go to success. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Woo! We're gonna make it, man. I, I have a good feeling about you. I have a good feeling about you. Thanks. Th thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> hey, me again. Um, just checking in, see what's happening. Uh, okay. Listen, man. It's look. It's been four days. All right, and. Let's just say I've got some pointers. I've got some tips. I've got some pointers for you. Uh, listen, like I'm really trying to get on with trading. I'm a bit busy here. I can't sort of answer all of these comments. All right, all right. I'll leave you alone. All right, you're the big guy. You're the big guy. All right, that's it, buddy boy. It's almost a week now. Why are you using my money? All right, it's not just me. You've seen us on the timeline. We're all upset. Now you start using our money, or we're taking it somewhere else. How much, uh, how much money are you copying me with? $400. Buddy, 400, eh? I've only got 3 million under my management. If you take that 400 out, 2,999,700, unless you sort yourself out. So firstly, why are they doing this? All right, so let's look at the people I'm copying. Let's look at Melvin. So I can click into my copy of Melvin, but I don't want to go there. I want to go to his actual profile here and then to his portfolio. And we can see at the bottom here, 90.96% balance. Now, what does that mean? That means that out of all the money that he's uploaded to his account, 90.96% is not being used in, in active trades at the moment. I remember when I copy Melvin, he isn't suddenly trading with my money, like, all right, I'm gonna focus all my attention on Tom. I'm just gonna trade just for him. No, he's trading in his own portfolio with his own money, which he's uploaded to his own account, right? My account is just copying whatever his account does. He's not trading with my money. He's trading with his money in his account and I'm just copying him. My account's automatically copying. So in his own account, out of all the money he's uploaded, 90.96%, it's like 91% of his money not being used in active trades. So he's, look here, we can see these are the percentages he's used on each trade. That's all he's doing at the moment. Now, if we go back to my portfolio and we look at Melvin, we can see that he's made me some really good profit, 8.54% profit. So he's doing well. Let's go to Swissway down here, Marco. Now, remember, Marco has made me nearly 5.5% in about, what, three or four months or something maybe a bit more. He's doing really well. How much of his money, and therefore the money I've copied him with, is he using? Again, we go to his profile, to his portfolio, 97.64% balance, okay? So 97.5% of all the money he's uploaded, he's not using in active trades. We can see that he's got one trade open, only just under 2.5% on Great British Pound versus US dollar. That's it. That's how much of our money that we're copying him with is actually being used at the moment. So should I withdraw it? So I just say, well, who cares about this guy? Whatever. And are they all doing this? Let's go one more. We'll try one more. Amit Cook. We've all, I've talked about him a lot. He's on the Black Star now. Highest level of the popular investor program. Let's go over and have a look at him right there. Amit, boom. Elite pro popular investor doing really well, making me a lot of money. Go to his portfolio. Him, he's only got 5% balance. So 95% of Amit's money is being used in active trades. Again, we can see him here, 24% in that, 20% in that. So he's using a ton of his money, 95% of his money in active trades. So if we look at them all, we can see that actually, so Amit is using 95% of our money that we're copying with in active trades. And Swissway is only using 2.5% of the money I'm copying with active trades. Should we care about that? Should we care how much of our money they're using? In my estimation, no. For me, this is just my thing, it's not investment advice. I look at their results. How are they doing, all right? 
They've all got their own style, their own way of trading. I don't care how they get there. One might use a little bit of my money, one might use most of my money. And I've seen this across the board. Some use 30%, some use 20%. Why are they doing this? A, they might not be using all of our money because let's say Swissway, let's go to Swissway and we'll say, he's trying to keep his risk scores low. Look, his risk scores are low. I've got $100. 90% of it is not being used and only 10% is in the markets. Then that's a low amount of risk, right? The most I can lose is that 10% of my funds. So maybe they're not using all of the money to keep their risk scores low. That could be one reason. Maybe uh, we look over here, we'll go to Melvin. Maybe Melvin uh, is thinking, right, there is an asset he wants to trade, but he doesn't want to trade it at the current value. So he's going to wait. He's going to keep his money back and then he's going to buy that when he wants to buy at the right price. Or maybe they're just waiting. Maybe they think, right, I don't know what opportunities are gonna come up, but something amazing might come up. And when it does, I don't wanna be stuck with no money to invest in it. So I'm gonna have the trades, which I truly believe in. Then I'm gonna just wait and see what happens in the market, market and keep some of my money back. Who knows why they do it? What I actually look at is how are they doing? Let's look at Selesh. How much is Selesh using of my actual money? Selesh is using 74.66. Is that, So 25% of my money is being used. 75% of the money is not being used. Once again, we see that he's doing really well. So it really, it's up to the, the, the trader. And I'm not here to micromanage them and tell them how to trade. What I have to assume is that they've worked out how much of their money they want to do, where they want their risk scores, how much they want to keep back for unknown events. It's up to them. They all have their own trading styles and I sort of give them the respect to not try and tell them how to trade. I'll show you another one of these. Look at Swissway over here. Let's go to the comments because I see a lot of these. So we'll go to the comments on people's pages. It's a bit of a, it's a laugh fest really. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable how much patience some of them has. So it doesn't, you don't have to go far to find one. Oh yeah, at Swissway. Now, God bless him, he might just be asking a question, you know, um, but why do you trade only Forex? It's a fair question, right? Because we're new and we ask these questions. And some people are polite, right? Some people are like this. You see sometimes other people just asking these questions like they're idiots. Like, dude, you need to get on it and trade other stuff. It's not entirely helpful, right? It's not entirely... It's good, great to ask questions if we're polite. But if we're not, it just... So Forex, for instance, have you ever seen like there's a, a guy called Anton Creel who I used to watch. He's kind of a famous investor. He did this series, which was like three parts on the macroeconomic uh, conditions for trading different Forex pairs, how different countries and different currencies are linked to different commodities and all the things which make these commodities. And it's unbelievable how much goes into Forex trading. My point being that um, we kind of trust these people uh, to, to just trade the way they do. Like who knows why they're keeping the money back or not. Who cares really if they're consistently keeping those risk scores low and making us good profits? Now, the other part of the question is a really good one, which is why can't I just take that money that they're not trading with actively, withdraw that so I can use it to copy someone else? After all, I, I don't have a lot of money, right? And I, I want to copy several people. I've seen a bunch of good traders on eToro and I want to copy as many of them as possible, get my money working and really, you know, make the maximum profit, put my money to use. After all, in investing, we've sort of worked out that it's our money that can make us more money. That's our principal asset, not our time, not our skill, but our money and put with the right people. So why can't we do that? Well, now there's the auto realignment feature, right, from the eToro. And what does that do? So let's say uh, Swissway over here. At the moment, I'm copying Swissway. We'll go back. I'm copying him with, let's say it's $800, right? So I'm copying him with $800 and he's currently using, remember, 2.5% of his funds on a trade, right? So as he does 2.5% of his funds, automatically, remember, my account is copying, the amount I've copied him with is automatically trying to mirror his portfolio, his actual account that he's trading with. So if he's made a 2.5% trade on uh, Great British Pound against US dollar, I will make a 2.5% trade of the money I've copied him with of my 800 on Great British Pound US dollar. So that's what we see here, right? Now, if I see that he's only using two and a half percent i say all right i'm going to withdraw half of the money i'm currently copying him with uh, 800 dollars. he's not using it all so i'm going to take 400 out i'm going to copy some other guy i'll leave him with 400 it's still he's not using it all he's only using 15 dollars at the moment problem with that is that etoro is, is constantly trying to make our portfolio our copy of him match exactly what he's doing in his account because whatever he's doing in his account, doesn't matter if we like it or don't, whatever he's doing is making money, is profitable. And that's what we copied. We didn't copy some other scenario that he's using. We copied what he's actually doing. Whatever he's doing is working, we copied it. 
So what's it going to do? We take $400 out of our copy of Swiss Way. I'm now copying in with $400. So what eToro will do, it will say, all right, so it's changed. So now he's making a 2.5% trade still on Great British Pound US Dollar. So we need to make a trade in my copied portfolio, 2.5% of $400. Because it's mimicking the percentages, not the money, not $15 or $30 or... 2.5% in his portfolio, 2.5% of whatever I'm copying him with. So the second I remove half my money, what will eToro do? It will recalculate it and half the size of my trade so that it's actually still mirroring Swissway's current strategy because that's the thing that I wanted to copy. So what it will do is it will just invest half of it. If I take half of my money out, suddenly I'll see that change and that will be a seven and a half dollar trade. Do you see what I mean? It will, it will just change it. It will alter it so that I'm still copying the same proportions, the same percentages. If he's got 2% on Google, my copy will have 2% of the money I've copied him with on Google. 5% on Amazon in his portfolio. 5% of the money that I've copied him with are on Amazon. If I've copied him with $1,000, 10% would be a $100 trade. If I suddenly remove half of that money, it will be 10% of $500. It'd be a $50 trade. See what I mean? So we can't do that. We can't just take the money they're not using out and use it to copy someone else because it will just half or remove our, our position sizes in our copy. I hope that makes sense. It's always trying to get our copy to match them in proportion of percentages they're using. All right, so uh, over here, let's go and look at someone else. We'll look at my portfolio. Who's going to have copied lots? So fund manager Zek, he'll have a lot. So uh, let's go to his portfolio and see what he's copying. So 12.5% uh, balance, right? So he's using 88 or something, 87.5% of all his money is being used. See how differently they are. So he's using most of his money in active trades, right? So most of the money we're copying with, and we can see he's got a load of trades open, will be used in active trades. Again, you can see the percentages. So US dollar, Swiss franc, he's got 12.5% on that. So 12.5% of the money I copy him with will be on that. 9.5% is on this. 9.5% of whatever money I copy in with. You see, you see the thing. So we can't just take it out, unfortunately. It's a lovely idea, though, to try and get our money to be used as well as possible. It doesn't work like that because we're trying to mirror what they're actually doing because that's what's working, okay? Um, so that's it. I just thought I'd go over that. I hope that makes sense. It's a, uh, it's a bit of a weird concept. A lot of these concepts are quite weird, and I sort of forget how long it's taken me to kind of get my head around how that's working. Um, but there we are. So what do I look at at the end of the day? Not how much of money, my money that they're using, but the fact that they are actually winning. Long may it continue. And I'll leave them to do it however they want to do it, right? And I won't, for the love of God, I will not just chip in and harass them on the timeline because I see it a lot. People suddenly harassing them who've, you know, been here for like a, a few weeks and they're harassing people who've been trading for a long time, sort of pointing out how they should trade. Anyhow, things are going well. I've only got 0.43% cash available. I've put all of my money is now copying these guys fully. They're all in green, although Thomas Parry Jones there was getting close to not being. Um, we'll go over, a, I'll do a, an update soon about the actual portfolio, but thanks for all your comments. Keep them coming. If you've got any other questions, let me know and I'll, I'll try and make a video about it. Um, because they're all good questions. Having said that, they're all good questions. It's just that I some see some people starting to get a bit demanding and rude with them. But not you guys in the comments, super lovely. And keep them coming and I'll make videos about whatever you ask. Anyhow, see you. Bye.